there with your sister's neck as we bend from side to side, those vertebrae have to rotate. Mm -hmm. But down in the, in the lumbar region, in the low back, it does the same thing. Now they, they rotate opposite what they do in the neck. Mm -hmm. So as you bend to the left, it actually rotates to the left hand side. Um, but with your MRI, it, it makes perfect sense. Um, so tell me, how long have you had this? Uh, still, I'm, I'm in service. I mean, I don't, I don't, but still, I'm working. But, but so it's been a long five time. Years, four five mm -hmm. years ago, I feel it for five years. I, I had difficulty in walking. Okay. And, and, and what happened? And what happened four or five years ago? Was there any injury or anything like that? No, at least this man is so good. Yeah, just the, the stuff. So what this is also talking about is like some degeneration. Mm -hmm. So that's like over time, things start wearing out. Yes, and, and, I think I'm going on. Yeah, so, and that's with the scoliosis there. It, it's kind of, here's the analogy I like to use. It's kind of like driving your car on a half flat tire. Can you do it for a little while? Yes. If you do it for very long, what happens is you start causing some wear and tear on the tire. Well, you've been doing it for a while because your, your scoliosis there, probably whether you knew it or not, really started when you were probably about 16 because, or 17 uh, years old. I am a nine man. Ah, uh, okay. I'm, You're I'm always up in the air. air. Uh -huh. My ladder is about uh, 20 pounds. Uh, okay. And then probably when, you're up, when you're up years. working, you probably twist it to the side mm -hmm. too. Just yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. the past days, I mean, do, you, do you get numbness and tingling going down yes. the legs? Like on the back side yes, of yes. the leg? Does it go all the way down to the, the toes? And sometimes it brings here is a okay. sensation. Sometimes I, I feel that it is wet, but not sweat. Wet. But it's not. So, the, the, what about like to the big toe? Do you get numbness and tingling in the big toe? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So sometimes the, I pinch it with it, sometimes mm -hmm. like the, like the prickly or, or, or sticky. To relieve some yeah. pain. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll take a look here at the L5. What, uh, what I'm thinking is that right down there at the last movable segment, right down here in the low yeah, back, yeah, yeah. I think there's going to be a lot of degeneration and probably some rotation. That puts pressure on the nerve that's going down the leg and all the way down to the to the toes and like to the big toe. It's difficulty standing. Yeah, and when you go to stand up and... Um, going upstairs. Mm -hmm. so, Very hard for me. So it's worse when you when when you're sitting for a while and then you go to stand up? Yeah, I can see when you're yeah. going to get up. Yeah, you're using your body to throw yourself up. Yeah, I'm going to do something. Yep. What about like just walking? Like, just on a flat surface? Walking on. Not too bad with that? Just on a few feet and sometimes I get to... Start feeling some of it. Yeah, sometimes I'm feeling okay. better with it. Alright, let's take a look here at these. Let me see what we can do. This was done last year. Last year, okay. 314, 2019. Is it okay? Yeah, come on up here and let's, let's take a look. Punta ka dyan. Yeah, this is an MRI here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm put this one up here. So what an MRI is, is it's, it's actually using technology to be able to see the soft tissue of, of the body. So soft tissue being like the disc that's in between the vertebrae. 
on a regular x-ray, we would see the square box here and a square box here, which is your vertebrae, and we would see a space in between here. But with an MRI, we actually see what the disc looks like here. And it's actually not too awfully bad here. What they do with an MRI is, is they go through the body like this. We're looking at you from the side. And so they start on, on like this side and they'll do one slice here and one here, one here, one here, one here. That's why they all look a little bit different as we go through here. So I start looking, here's where muscles are and I get down in through here. So right in about the middle, this is your spinal cord here. Mm -hmm. This is your vertebrae here. And these little black, you know, kind of black with a, a white spot in the middle uh, are the discs themselves. So on your report, what it's showing is that we're starting to look at like, like this square box here. And it starts getting this little kind of slide or a spike formation there. And, and, and with that, that, that is the, the degeneration that they're talking about. Uh, now, I was thinking that we would see a lot more down here at the L5, yes. which is the one that's going down the leg. It's not so much at the L5, it's actually a little bit higher in the back here. Mm -hmm. And so we start seeing, you know, a little bit right in through here, a little bit down in through here, a little bit on this one. You see how this one actually, it looks to me like we've had maybe an injury at the lower uh, vertebrae where they've kind of collapsed just a little bit. Did they talk to you about that? Like a, a what they call a burst? So when you look at this, what should happen is all of these should be like nice square boxes. You see how this one looks like it's kind of just been squished down just a little bit here and here, and then even maybe just a little line through the middle here. Kind of the same thing through this one. So I think that probably down in your low back, you've had at least some like jumping off of something, some sort of injury uh, to that. I don't see where it's really bulging out, putting pressure too much on the spinal cord itself so that that looks pretty good but definitely here there's some things in your low back i know i'm going to find that, on and, that's on. not bad at all. it's not too awfully bad mm -hmm. i think it's doable to get get everything fixed mm -hmm. this definitely would tell me that that uh i think you're a chiropractic uh, uh patient so let's go through the exam let's find out what's going on okay mm -hmm. so yeah. we'll leave these up for just a minute here mm -hmm. and uh we'll come back and reference them so first thing I'm going to do is we're going to have you just take a seat right here. Let's just go through some things here. Okay, slide back for me a little bit. Back up on, you know, back out on the table a little bit further. And then just push against my hand here real hard. Push, push, push. Pull back towards you. Good. And then push here. Push, push, push. Good. Pull back towards you. Good. And then um, I'm going to have you just uh, go ahead and stand up without your slippers there. And then I'm going to have you just come up on your toes and just kind of walk just a little bit on your toes. Okay, good. It's very hard. Yeah. But you can do it at least. It looks like it's a little bit weaker on that right side. Okay, now come back with me, but walk on your heels this time. A little easier on that one. There's a little bump there, so watch there on that, on that carpet. Yeah. Yeah, come on back this way. So what that's doing is it's kind of testing the nerves at, at, uh, in this area here yes. with all the muscles. So go ahead and have a seat for me. Yeah. Just stay sitting right here. Sit. And just I'm going to check everything on your spine, your upper back, your middle, and your lower back, okay? Look up towards the ceiling. When I push down like that, are we getting any pain with that? Yeah, I'm not too bad with it. And then how about here? And how about here? No, not at all. Okay. So down in your, in your um, low back, down here, is yes. where they're, they're showing a little bit of the, of the curve. A lot of times as we work down in through here, we can actually, as you have problems here, it, it translates I mean, uh, up into here too. When my vehicle, my, my driving. When you're driving, you feel it a little bit? Yeah. Let's check this range of motion here. Okay, and almost the same thing as what your sister had, not quite as bad as what she had, mm -hmm. is when I bend to the side here, you feel this moving, you know, off to the side, 
and then when it comes back here, it stops and locks right there. Yeah, it so it doesn't be, move very well. Be. Do you get headaches very often? No, not at all. Not too bad? Okay, well we're gonna work on that one here in just a minute. Grab another paper towel here. And let's go face down. Face down. So we're just about even here, so that's good. And what I'm gonna do is have you, from the hip right here, raise this leg as high as you can for me. Okay, good, and put it down. Now let's do the other one. Okay, so this one came up a little better than this one, but both of them are actually moving pretty good. That tells me that this joint right here is moving pretty well and most of your problem is going to be more here in the spine. What about as I poke right in through here? Are we sore? Sakit. Not too bad on that. How about out here? Yeah, a little sore on that. So what I'm kind of seeing is that the muscles here are really tight and in spasm. That tells me that the muscle, or that, yeah, that the nerve that's going to these muscles are actually tightening up here. So, Let's do this. Let's catch this one right up here first. So a little pop. Good, and one more. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna have you roll up on your um, right side, so you'll be facing me. Right side? Yep. Face kasan. This way here. This, this, this the other side. There we go. Good. Now, I'm gonna roll you towards me. It feels like you're going to fall off of here, but I've got good control on you, okay? And we're gonna get this one right down here. So this is right in that area that they were talking about on your MRI that you had some problems. So a little pop, a little more. Yeah, good. Now let's go over to the other side. Okay. Good. Nice and straight with that one. We'll bring this one up. Slide down here just a little more. Bring this arm back for me. There we go. Right back there. That's perfect. Now, up here a little further. Yeah, that one. Good, okay. Now sit on up for me. There we go. Now, let's get back to some of this up here in the neck. So you're not having a lot of pain up here. Most of yours is down here. Yes. And, uh, and so, we're going to, to work on all these areas here, not just the area that's painful, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Bring your chin up. There mm -hmm. we go, good. And then one more on this side. Here, really relax. Perfect, good. Stand up and see how that feels. Much better on there. Yeah, okay. Let's go back face down. Let me recheck this again. So we were pretty even on here and it looks good there. Now raise this leg again as high as you can. Good. And now let's do the other one. Okay. So nice and even on that. Again, the leg the leg length and the mus and the legs were moving pretty good. So this joint was pretty good. I stayed away from that. We went right out here into the vertebrae of the lumbar. Okay. Turn and sit up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right down in through here. That's so. What I was adjusting on that was those areas that they were seeing some wear and tear on on your MRI. So we went right to the um, those areas that that were seeing um, all of that wear. Like on my model here, let me show you this. So this is pretty much a normal vertebrae. We take this out of the low back here. We're looking at you from behind here. And here's the nerves. So like the one nerve comes out and goes all the way down okay, the legs. My mind is like this. Yours is more like this. This is more normal. Yours is starting to get these little spike formations. What about this? That's a red, not like that. The so pain. that's where the, the disc bulges out and puts a little pressure on your nerve. Yeah. It didn't show in your MRI that you had very much of that. 
but I think that you probably do more so than what the MRI is showing. And the reason why I say that is because with your MRI, you're usually lying down on a bed, you go into the big tube and you're not moving. But when you go to stand up and you start moving, then dynamically, I think this pre puts pressure out here on the, on the nerve. And that's why you start feeling this in, in different positions. Whereas your MRI is not necessarily showing that specifically. But I think if we were to do like an MRI with you standing up or twisting, which they don't do those, but if we could do that, I think it would show more of a problem than what we're seeing. I'm standing in my life. Yeah, yeah, they, they don't have a standing MRI. Uh, not yet. Maybe the technology is coming. They do have an open MRI. But uh, how about uh, uh, ointment? Is it okay? So it's okay to use that, but what that's doing is it's just a topical that makes the muscles feel a little bit better. Um, what I'm trying to do is to get to the root of the problem or why do the muscles hurt? So it's kind of like, again, I like to use analogies, like in a car, if you have your check engine light come on, that means there's a problem somewhere in the car, right? If you took a piece of black tape and put it over the check engine light, you don't see it anymore, but the problem is still there. Yeah. So if you just use ointments or- Massager. Uh, massage sometimes, I mean, it helps with the muscles, but it doesn't really get to uh, the root of fixing the problem. It's still there. Still so there. we're trying to chiropractic rotate those vertebrae back and to relax. How those about muscles. how about the she uh, attending of physical therapies? So physical therapy is also good, and and I think it, it really can help um, a lot I have with a the muscles. Therapy, uh, uh, do you have electric, electric, electrical uh, therapy? We're going to do a little bit of that with you today. Um, uh, that wasn't my therapy back there in yeah yeah my so. We're gonna do some of that too, but we use that in conjunction with the chiropractic adjustments because the therapy alone, again, is not fixing the problem. Yes. It's, uh, it's the adjustment, rotating that vertebrae back to a more normal position, and then doing some therapy with it to get it to hold better that is actually really helping you a lot. Good. So that's why a lot of times I see therapy will help to a certain level, but it's not really getting you, yes. you know, all of the relief that you're looking for. So I have a lot of patients that come in that have had a fair amount of therapy and then, then they're amazed at how much, you know, four, five, six adjustments can really get rid of the pain where the therapy they've been doing for weeks didn't totally get rid of it. Or if it got rid of it, then it came back pretty quickly. So my idea and goal is to get rid of it as quick as we can, then start allowing the body to, to, to heal up stretch out the time and then just maintain it. I stop the medicine. I yeah. The pain reliever. Yeah. yeah. It's a pain, difficult pain. Yeah, hopefully you don't need, really need the pain, yeah. the pain meds for, yes. for stuff like I this. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. So I, that's that's something that's out of our scope of practice, you know, to really recommend pain meds or not. But frequently I see a lot of my patients starting to go, oh, I don't really need my pain meds anymore because it feels so much. She, uh, she had that difficult of sleeping yes. because of the pain. Yes. Yeah, oh. you're going to sleep much better tonight. Yeah, I promise thank you, you, you're going to feel much, you. much better. The pain comes in early in the morning, uh, uh -huh. one or two o'clock. Yeah. I don't oh. sleep at all. Yeah, be because what happens is when you lie down, that's when the time is supposed to to rest yes. um, and, 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 and the pain. rejuvenate. Okay. But frequently what happens too is you have a decrease in blood flow and circulation oh. and so it starts aching on you. Uh -huh. Whereas when you're yes. up moving around, you're actually causing those muscles to contract and relax. That helps with all the blood flow and circulation. So I do see that fr frequently like at, at nighttime, you know, being some pain and things with, with things at night. So good questions though. I mean, those. Those, those are good things, and that's why all my patients always tell me they slept so much better that first night oh, and, and felt so much better. All right? Okay. All right. We're going to go do a little bit of therapy with you, okay? Yeah. Okay.